super exciting stuff. Anyway, welcome back. If you were here earlier for my garage sale, I am back after my lunch break and excited for the doll workshop. Hey, Samantha. Oh no, today's been a rough day. Oh, Samantha, I'm so sorry. I'm truly sorry. It's just one of the most difficult things we have to endure as humans, truly. I'm so sorry. My heart is with you. Hi, Princess Peep. Hi, Stacy. KMC Duffy and Beth in the house. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Robear, welcome. Bully House 34, welcome. Oh, I'm so glad that you were too. Thank you. I was wanted to wear these for the Pride Parade, but I couldn't find them. And of course, they were where they were supposed to be. In this little case, I keep all my ears in. <laughs> hey, Paula. They may end up <clears throat> pressing too hard on my head, but we'll wear them for now. Anyway, welcome to everyone who is also tuning in over on YouTube. Thanks for the support. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Lar. Welcome, welcome. If anyone on YouTube wants to join in the chat here on Whatnot, it's very happening. Um, just click in the video description and you can click on the link and join us directly here on Whatnot. And that is also the way that you will take place in the auctions. But you're welcome to just watch and hang out and have fun. <clears throat> oh, well, let's see who else is joining. S. Garza, thrift store intern, my shells, Hureo, welcome, welcome, <clears throat> Denise, my sister-in-law is in the house, welcome, welcome Heidi and Katie Cat, Al Extra, welcome, well, they can't see our chat, Paula. Over on YouTube, they can't see the chat. That's why I'm saying if they want to come over here where there are no crickets chirping and the chat is happening, click on the video description. Of course, if you're watching on the replay, you can still click on the video description and be all signed up for whatnot for next time because I'm here every Saturday. Next weekend, I will be here for the estate sale extravaganza. So I won't be doing build a doll. But we will be having vintage for hours and hours and hours for three days. So from 6 a.m. Pacific time until midnight Pacific, we're going to be selling vintage and all kinds of fun. So I'll have some of my dolls as well. So you guys be sure to bookmark all of my upcoming shows and browse them because there are items already listed in the estate sale extravaganza and it's going to be super fast paced. So if you want to make a pre-bid, that way you can be more relaxed because everything's going to go so fast. Fast and fun. Foxy Craft Shop, thank you so much. And I love your name. Good, I'm already following you. So if you are new to my show, this is my Build-A-Doll workshop. I make cone dolls. And I don't have any completely completed, but this is an example of one. She's going to be in one of my Christmas and July sales, and I'm going to get her bangs back where they're supposed to be. But you get to choose your doll head, your accessory, and your cone material. And then I build a custom doll for you here live on the show. <clears throat> These are our cone materials that we have tonight. If you want to see other colors or other patterns that are not featured, you can pay an additional $10 fee for me to pull out my stack and cover a comb for you live. But we have lots of choices here, so you shouldn't need to do that, but you're welcome to if you want. Same goes for additional accessories. You get one accessory that comes with your doll, and then if you wanted to have a second accessory, you can pay an upcharge for that as well. Both of those options are in the Buy It Now section. And then if you wanted something customized on your doll, say you wanted a witch's hat or you wanted me to repaint the eye color or add lipstick, something like that, then that is also an additional fee under customization in the buy it now section. But you get your head, your cone, your accessory, your trim, 
lots of love and attention all for the price that you bid <clears throat> now here are our doll heads that we're starting off with tonight this little pez girl is giving me trouble i modified the girl i rerouted from last time and turned her into a space girl she has custom pink hair i have an alien by special request from last week a black cat those are all new this week and hand painted by me we have the hand painted poodle and the jack-o-lantern and then all kinds of fun vintage doll heads pez heads we've got a cute little plush snoopy head that is new this week my Mego Dorothy from my childhood. All kinds of fun. So if you feel generous and want to throw me a tip of $5 or more, I will do a show and tell and pull something from my curio cabinet from my collection or from something back here on my couch and show it to you up close and it'll be a lot of fun. All right. I'm going to place these back here for a moment. Also, there is lots of fun stuff. Can I show the cones again? Yes. There is lots of fun stuff in the buy it now. Lots of items for just $3. So check it out. And of course, when it is your turn, and if you see a cone that you want me to uncover so you can see the full pattern, just ask and I will do that for you. All right. There's a question. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. A question for the chat. Got it. All right. Well, let's get started. You're answering Sam. Okay, thank you. Beth. My workspace is a mess today. Well, that's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, let me pull up my second screen so that once I point my screen down on my workspace, I'm still able to see your comments easily. And unfortunately, I do not have a third device pulled up for the YouTube chat. So if you have a question for me or a comment that you really want me to see, um, go ahead and join us here on Whatnot. Just click on the video description and you will find the link. If you're brand new to Whatnot, never joined, you'll get $15 off your first purchase. Not just for me, but whatever vendor that you want to shop with. Okay. <clears throat> One day soon, I will get a third device going, but right now my third device is playing music. So really I need the fourth device, which I have to charge an extra phone and all of that stuff. So anyway, all right, enough rambling. You have your head and body picked out. Stacy. okay, that's great. Oh my gosh, Nicole, thank you so much for purchasing that ornament. I'm so happy that Martha and the Vandellas is finding a home. That is fabulous. That makes my day. Thank you so much. Yeah, there's all kinds of treasures, random stuff. Um, I've got a craft lot with a lot of different iron-on patches in it. So if anybody wants to see that up close and personal, just let me know and I'll bring it out. But yeah, it is totally filled and it will continue to get filled as I continue to purge things from my home. All right, let's get started. First doll of the night. Let's get the doll heads queued up. I'm really excited over my little space girl. I'm not going to lie. And the Snoopy head. I mean, honestly, I'm excited over the black cat. I'm excited over so many of these doll heads tonight. All right, 30 seconds. Here we go. This little frog is chatty. And Sam, it is great to have you here in the chat where you can see us this week. Did you get your children of the corn girl yet? 
Thank you everyone who bid. I missed the bids because I had my face blocked, but thank you everyone who threw in the bids and thank you so much, Samantha, and congratulations. I hope you love her. Her sister is here tonight. <laughs> that's right, Stacy. That's true. Hey, Lorraine. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to see you. <clears throat> now, I do have your accessories pulled aside, Samantha, so you can let me know. I'll show them to you again, but you can let me know if you want them, like, more than one of them on one doll or you know, what your plans are for them. I got a little bit of fuzz here on the poodle. <clears throat> I do have some new accessories tonight as well. Welcome, Besta, one, two, three. The pumpkin or the black cat? Well, they are both pretty fabulous. I just did the black cat today and I was super excited about it. Look how coy the poodle is being right now. You want the cat? Alrighty, you got it. And I'm assuming you probably want the black or do you want to look at the other options? Now I have to figure out where I put your accessories. I literally put them aside today. And you know how it is when you put something somewhere so that you won't lose it. And then you lose it. All the other accessories got placed on the tray. But, you know, I'll find it eventually. All right, it's not in there. My workspace is just a bit of a mess today, too. Here's all our little cocktails. I feel like... Here they are. All right. <clears throat> so we'll take the little keychains off. I got these accessories with Sam in mind. All right, so <clears throat> these are the ones that you had asked me to pull from you from my stories. Hopefully you can see it. It's whiskey, they're both whiskey. Lord, wow. Blended whiskey. and the bible now you might freak out because the bible has teeny tiny it's like the whole bible really it's really the whole bible so i'll have to attach it in such a way that you can still open it so <clears throat> let me know i'm assuming you might want one bottle of whiskey and the bible with this one let me know which bottle. So which bottle of whiskey do you want for the black cat? The one with the little man on it or the other one? Okay. Do you still want me to put this one aside for you for later? Or do you want me to put it back in the bin? And then did you want the um, black, the black glitter? Okay, and let me find, I already pulled it, where did I put it? Here it is. All right. to be trimmed. Hmm. 
Fusion. Okay. All right, you got it. <clears throat> Did you uh, purchase your extra accessory? And then I might have missed if you wanted me to hold the other whiskey bottle for you or not. Hey, Sherry. There we go. Thank you, Sam. Oh my gosh, I love this cat so much. Aww. Welcome back, little white quail. Welcome, vintage kitschy. Okay. I will put it aside. I'm putting it in with the sleeves. So if I forget, you guys can tell me. All right. And speaking of sleeves, I need to find the sleeve for the black cat. Here it is. I am making this black cat with the hand painted head that I made, spun cotton, putting his arms together right now. For Samantha. All right, where are my tools? Welcome back, Kaba. I think Karen, is that right? Let me know if you got your doll from last week and if you liked it. Because it was your first doll. Oh, thank you so much. I really loved it too. But you know, it's a lot of, a lot has to do with you helping me design it and choosing that turtle and colors you picked. But I loved the positioning of the turtle with the doll. It really had a lot of movement and I really loved that one. Welcome Sheila. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh, I love that. It's exactly what I'm aiming for. And we need a little Christmas. Oh, okay, MC Duffy, thank you so much for the tip. You guys remind me when I'm done making this cat, I will pull something from my collection for show and tell. <clears throat> think about what it's gonna be. Okay, I think I know what it's gonna be. Sometimes it's hard to choose. <clears throat> and you guys be sure to check out my state sale extravaganza dolls that are listed in case anyone is interested in pre-bidding on anything because it is going to be a very fast paced sale with only 30 minutes. So keep checking back throughout the week. 
because I am probably going to add some more items. And if you pre-bid, then it won't be so nerve wracking for you to try to figure out what you want under the stress of the fast countdowns. I know it's so crazy. It's so crazy that it's already July and that it's been a year since the very first estate sale extravaganza when all the vintage resellers from Instagram and YouTube invaded whatnot and brought all of you and the vintage decor category was born. It's amazing. I don't think this one is quite Stacy's vibe. I think you're good. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that she is six now. Growing up so fast. Is she too old for Disney princesses now? Is she six going on 13 or is she still a, a nice childlike six? Hi Monica, we are working on this black cat that I hand painted for Samantha. Welcome Cal Bells. Thank you. I just painted him today. I sketched him out last week, but then I didn't have time to paint him. So I painted them today. Got to make sure that this fur does not cover his mouth. So we'll have to do some trimming. Chuck is doing well. Um, yeah, it, you know, it is what it is, you know. He has good days and he has not so good days, days where he struggles, but he's having a good day today. It's just the nature of where he's at and his lung disease. We're still trying to get the oxygen tanks. It's just so frustrating. The system, the Medicare and insurance system is just a nightmare when it comes to oxygen. He went and did the test that was required in order to get the oxygen tanks. And then I found out at the end of this week that he has to go back and do it again because the therapist did it on the wrong liter flow of oxygen because the doctor or the doctor's office that I go round and round with now did not put it on the order that the oxygen company sent the liter flow that it was supposed to be done at. And it's just super frustrating because it takes a lot out of him to go out of the house and I just hate to have to put it through, put him through it again, but we're going on Wednesday. so. Hopefully this will finally be it because once he has the tanks, he'll be able to get 
the level of oxygen that he needs that the machines no longer provide so that he won't get so out of breath and he won't struggle as much when he's moving around. And Annabelle's coming to visit next week. So we are planning on getting him back on Whatnot Friday. I know you guys have heard me say it before, but this time I'm really committed to making it happen. And Annabelle will be here to help us. All right, where's my fan? I am little white quail. I wanted to do another garage sale first because I've just, as I'm going through the house and purging, coming across more stuff and it takes up room in a different way in my house. So I wanted to try to get rid of what I could, but I'll do another clothing sale the week after this coming weekend because this coming weekend is a state sale extravaganza. And I don't want to do any other sales. You know, I just want to keep everybody focused on that. So not this coming Saturday, but the following one will make that the clothing sale. I have to also go through and get more clothing out. Oh my gosh, that's terrible, Stacy. All right, what am I doing? I know I have more pipe cleaner, right? It's just unreal, this whole system with oxygen to make somebody who literally needs oxygen at a very high level in order to live and breathe, to make them take a test with very little oxygen that puts them at risk um, in order to get more oxygen that they need. It's just unreal to me. I don't understand it at all. In my opinion, why can't you just notate what their level is at the leader flow that they have, and then you can gauge it. You can be like, well, if he's only 88 at 10 liters of oxygen, then obviously he needs more. And I feel really badly for people, older people who don't have anyone to navigate all this stuff and advocate for them because I don't know how, I don't know how they survive, honestly. I mean, we've always just bought our own oxygen machines because it was such a hassle, but now that he needs tanks, and the tanks get refilled every week and he needs a lot of tanks because they don't last long. He needs the tanks to work out at home and stuff. Like one tank might only last 30 minutes. So I don't want to be paying out of pocket for that kind of thing. You know what I mean? That is something you really do need to get the insurance to pay for versus paying a few grand for a machine that lasts for a few years. But yeah, it's, it's been very stressful to say the least. And, you know, just going, navigating all this stuff and trying to get everything in place with his health has just been a lot on both of us, which is why we just haven't had him back on whatnot yet. Cause it's a lot for me to get all his 
merchandise ready and listed and procured and printed and anyway. All right, little cat, let's see what we want to give you. Yeah, and then people die, like. And before I became Chuck's manager, his manager told him he could not wear oxygen in public, that if he was ever seen wearing oxygen, his career would be over. And for people with COPD, oxygen therapy is the one you know, one of the main things that can help slow the progression of the disease, oxygen therapy and exercise. So he needed to be using oxygen a lot sooner than he did. And then once we got rid of him and I got Chuck finally to come to terms with it being his lifeline, then I implemented it for him on stage and guess what? Everyone accepted it. It was no big deal. And then he could safely perform. All right, we're gonna have to reinforce this with super glue because it's gonna be metal. Where is my super glue? Here it is. Susie Q, you use that oxygen exactly as your doctor says do not feel ashamed about it you use it and if your doctor says it's safe for you to exercise to take walks or whatever then that keeping moving and using your oxygen therapy is going to help slow the disease i mean chuck has had copd for i think he was diagnosed with it in the 90s and he had to start using it and flight, that was the first thing, probably in the mid 2000s. Like, I don't know, he, he had it before I met him. So I would say, I don't know, maybe 2006 or so. So here he still is at 81. That he's considered to be in the end stages of COPD but people can live 20 years or more in the end stage if they take care of themselves. So, and also, I don't know if you're familiar with OxyV glasses, but Chuck's leader flow is too high now for them to work properly, but I don't know if you're familiar with them, but they um, deliver the oxygen through the frames and then they just hook into these two little tubes in the nose. You are too. Well, hopefully you're able to do, have you done pulmonary rehab? Are you able to, to keep active? And how many liter flows are you on? Okay. Yeah, Chuck, the 10 liters from the machine is not even enough for Chuck anymore to walk around safely, so. I feel for you. I feel you. And um, I don't know if you use the tanks, but with the tanks, he's able to use six liters on the tanks and walk around and stay in the 90s. So that's what we discovered at Lung Rehab, and that's what we're trying to get approved for him. So you are in our prayers too. Let's see. Let 
Don't do as I do. Don't mix hot glue and super glue together. <laughs> Yeah, they're called Oxyview. Let's see if I can type them in. Oops. Autocorrect. Literally with the hyphen. And they more discreetly deliver the oxygen. And that's what we were using for him on stage so that from a distance you can't even see these two little tubes that connect in from the frames of his glasses. So it just can help on a cosmetic level if wearing the candela is, you know, keeping you from getting your oxygen. That the Bible is going to give me trouble, but we'll see. I'll just have to reinforce it again once it dries. Patience is a virtue. Welcome, Fluent Vintage. It totally is. <laughs> That's funny. A shipping benefit for giveaways. Um, I I mean I can't say for sure how that would how that works. It might be I can't say for sure. You know, I can only speculate. And my speculation would be whatever comes first, like if you had the giveaway was your first item then you would have a discount on the item that you purchased. But if you purchased an item first, then I might not pay as much on the giveaway, but I don't know. It could be the other way around and it not matter. I have no idea. Is what I first said correct? Oh, is that what you mean? Yes, okay. So Paula is confirming what I said first. I really should not fool with this too much right now. I really need to just put it aside and then bathe it in super glue later. And I'm sorry guys that I don't personally do as many giveaways as I once did, but I just can't afford to right now because of the cost of supplies and with um, just the economy the way it is. All of us as sellers are struggling to make sales as we once were, so I appreciate you guys all so very much. And. I will do giveaways on special occasions, such as the Estate Sale Extravaganza. I will make a special doll to give away for my pre-show, which is going to be 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern on Friday. So be sure to bookmark that show. I don't know what the doll is going to be yet, but it will be something really cool. Yeah, exactly. Peace out. Hey, Cody. <clears throat> Actually, it's something that I requested that they do way back a year ago when I first came to Whatnot and was helping them as a marketing consultant. Cody, I've missed you. Where have you been? All right, now, where is your whiskey? 
cat needs his whiskey. It's just so crazy how the doll heads are two or three times as much as they were when I first started making dolls. And the cones are obsolete, so I have to buy them once a year when they put them out at Christmas and buy a thousand of them, which is a huge amount of money all at once. But if I don't do it, I won't have cones for the whole year. And I'm even starting to get low and I'm hoping that I will make it until they release that holiday merch. Thank you so much, Susie Q. Well, if you ever need any support, reach out. I've been taking care of Chuck with his COPD now for, I've lost count, but how many years has it been? I always forget, I always forget at this point. Like, was it 2011 that I met him? It had to be 2011, yeah, so I'll do the math, I don't know. Is that question for me, peace out? Or was that a conversation you were having with someone else? Okay. Why is this playing? I'm kind of dragging tonight, guys. I apologize. I'm just kind of taking my time and chatting. I don't understand your question, so can you clarify? Looking for support. Yeah, clarify it because I'm not sure what it means. Oh, 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 never mind. I get it. I get it. You want to get out of the house because you have house guests and um, shouldn't have said it out loud. Hopefully they're not listening. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I was talking to Stacy anyway. Okay, the cat's winking. Here we are, guys. Are we ready? And uh, my answer is absolutely. I go through it. Freaking amazing. And very carefully, though. Very carefully because I don't want the Bible to snap off. But. Okay, so just do it very carefully. I will put as much glue on it as I can. I'm going to even use some E6000 and clamp it. And hopefully that will do the trick to make it more permanent. But anyway, thank you so much, Samantha. I think he's fabulous. And I hope you love him. So let me sign him and number him. I need a marker. Markers are pen. Well, here's a black pen. I don't, oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Here we are. All right. There are teeny tiny words in the Bible book. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the show and tell reminder. Because I, I had already gotten myself completely distracted from our conversation. All right. Doll number one.
<laughs> well, I had you in mind when I found it and picked it out. So he's all signed and ready. We are going to place him in the green room backstage while he awaits the fashion show at the end. All right, so I'm going to grab the show and tell item. People have tried to buy this from my cabinet before, but it is not for sale. I forgot this is the side of my cabinet to get my problems. Trying to open it. It's like childproof. I can't do that. On this one side, bless. It goes in too far. Don't fret. I just need to get something flat to pry it open. All right, my show and tell is going to be Gizmo from my childhood, my Mogwai. And he was poseable and super cute. And I'm just so excited that I still have him. Let's see what his feet say. Warner Brothers, 1984. And I am Toys Limited, made in Hong Kong. So when Gremlins came out, my mom told me I was not allowed to see it. She said, you are not allowed to see Gremlins, just like I was not allowed to see Jaws. And I didn't see Jaws, but I wanted to see Gremlins. And my Uncle Lloyd, who was like the fun uncle, wanted to take me and his son Milton, my cousin, and my cousin Alan, and Milton's stepbrother Trent, and I just didn't bother to tell him I wasn't allowed to see it. I just went because Uncle Lloyd was taking us. So I went to see it anyway, and it was scary, but it was amazing. And uh, let's see, in 1984, how old did I have been? Oh, I'm not good with math in my head. So let's see. 20, 20, oh, that's not right. How come that isn't coming out to be the right answer? Oh, I know why. Okay. I have, there's another step to this math problem. I just need to do it this way. My brain is dead. I was 11. So I was 11. And it was so amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Stace. Um, but it was so spooky. You know, the spookiest part for me as a child was not the gremlins themselves. Yeah, I got in trouble. I don't remember if I got punished or anything, but I got in trouble when she found out. I probably told her because I didn't like lie or anything. I just didn't always tell everything. Um, so anyway, she was afraid I would have nightmares is why she didn't want me to see it. But the part that was the spookiest to me was not the gremlins and the gremlins killing people or the gremlins getting killed themselves and it being gory. It was the father dying in the chimney, coming down the chimney as Santa Claus. Like 
That is the part that disturbed me the most as a child. Oh no, South Park. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Yeah, my one of my nanny families, the mom took, she was probably eight. She was pretty young. The eight year old to Mean Girls. We all three went to see Mean Girls. It was so uncomfortable. And then there was another nanny kid that I had that was 12 who wanted to go see the 40 year old virgin and the mother told me to take her. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, I don't think this is appropriate. It was so uncomfortable watching those movies with these kids. Yeah, the chimney story. No, that was the worst part. But anyway, so a couple of Christmases ago, my stepdaughter who's Gosh, is she 30 now? I think she just turned 30 or is about to turn 30. Anyway, she had never seen Gremlins and she was staying after everybody else left on Christmas and she's like, let's watch a Christmas movie. <laughs> so Amy decides that we're going to watch Gremlins because it's a Christmas movie. It really is a Christmas movie. And um, it was very fun to experience it with someone from a totally different generation as an adult. Like I've shown it to other kids, but for an adult from a different generation to watch it, it was very interesting. It was fun. Um, and then my younger stepdaughter, another Christmas, I picked Krampus. <laughs> so <laughs> she was traumatized, but no, she's she was in her, you know, she was in her late teens. Anyway, so that's my show and tell. It is Gizmo from my childhood and I'm sure probably my grandma will bought Gizmo for me or my Aunt June. Anyway, I love him. So thank you so much for the tip. You are the best. All right, it is time for the next round. Let me get my other device back going over here. But I will never forget seeing the never ending story. I don't know why I have this down um, because I forgot. I will never forget seeing the never ending story at the drive-in sitting on top of the car on a blanket. That was the most magical experience ever. Yes, I love the never ending story. And Uncle Lloyd took us to see that too. Okay, let's get going with the next round. I'll give you guys a quick flash of the cones and then we'll bring the heads. Okay. If you are new to my show, you get to choose your head, your cone, your accessory, and then I build your doll for you here live on the show. Here are our doll heads, and I probably need to replace one that I just took one away. Let me see if I can fit you in here. Some of these doll heads are pretty sassy. We'll just put it right there. And this frog just keeps talking to a jack-o'-lantern and just doesn't want to look ahead. All right, here we go. Yes, the cones are the doll's bodies. And I'll show you an example of one that we just created. Thank you guys all so much for your bids. Oh my gosh, Ren, Cynthia had some really gross moments too. But that was as in my adulthood. It wasn't part of my childhood, thank God. 
Okay, congratulations, KMC Duffy. Thank you so much. Let me know which head you would like. You got it, the space girl. I'm so excited. And I'm assuming you mean the space girl, not the alien, not the green alien. Right? <clears throat> I have to reinforce her little antenna with some E6000 after the show. I have it temporarily on here with some hot glue. But. I will be reinforcing it. I just don't want to sit here and smell it because I'll end up getting dizzy. Let's go again. All right, just give me one second to redo the antenna with hot glue and then we will get the cone. I'm so excited about her. I bought some little dime store toys just to get the little helmets and the dime store toys were not very good you might think oh score you get the toys and the helmet no they're really weird i mean weird in not a good way they're like these weird rubber cats with weird hats on I can't even really see the detail in it, but it's just like whatever. Weird. Okay, let's pick your cone. Oh man, be kind. That sounds really magical. And then let me know if you want me to pull the cone out so that you can see the full design of anything. Welcome, Granny's Vintage Glitter. Okay. Let's pick the cone. Okay, so here I got all these lights that are giving her. Here's the orange. Hey, space case. Hey, red. Let me know if you like that one. We also have silver. All right, let's go with silver. And this is my very first one of this kind. And, you know, she has rerouted pink hair too that I did. So she's extra special. All right, let's get to work. I'm gonna get her head on and then I'll pull out the tray of accessories. And if you don't see anything that you like, we can always just do either like a mercury glass type thing or I have this whole bag of glittered little balls that could be planet like so but i'll bring out the accessories maybe you want her to hold some kind of food or who knows there's all kinds of fun stuff to choose from all right oh yeah 
we could put a planet on a wire. That's true. That's a good idea. Welcome, Rory. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to let her head dry. And I'm going to pull out the accessory drawer. All right. I'm going to pull out the accessory drawer just in case you see something that catches your eye more. But if not, we can always do the planet. Okay, let's find the sleeve here. was happening to me last week where there were missing sleeves. And remember if you are watching me over on YouTube, you can click on the description in the video and click the link and join me directly here on Whatnot if you want to get in on the fun of the chat or the auctions. that the sleeve was created but I cannot find it. Let's look at here. All right, we will cut a new one. Let's see what we have going on here. Okay, you got it. Welcome. What color trim do you want? get her just press her helmet down because it will pop up sometimes you just press it down so that it fits her properly i'm gonna leave it as a removable helmet there we go i don't know if i have something that is gonna match the pink Helmet. I don't know. I'll look and see in a minute. I'm kind of limited when it comes to pink because I use it so much. I do have the blue tinsel, and that could look really awesome actually because of the blue eyeliner. The pink tinsel that I have is very pale pink. You know, it doesn't really stand out as pink. And I think it's too much glitter. I think it's too much 
The blue stands out better because it is not so shaggy. Here's the blue. But we also have to take into consideration what color planets we use. So we'll see. Do you like the blue? Okay. I do plan on making more of the space dolls like this for Petite Galooza. This was kind of my trial one. Hey Von Steve, welcome. And thank you to everyone who's tuning in. Yes, I could, but a white quail, I definitely could. I need to get Valerie at my Stitch and Doll Labors to make me some that I can buy from her. Because she does the crochet ones. All right. Perfect. Oh, hey, there she is so far. Let's get her trim. Anyone who is just tuning in, you can check out my show notes. So that you can see what the heck we're doing here. But I did also put it in the description, so description of the item. I think that that helps when people are tuning in and they're like, what is this? Ow. Although if you're watching on YouTube, you don't get to see all that information. little blue stars we can put on for her buttons. Thank you so much again, KMC Duffy. This was a lot of work to reroute her. So I really appreciate you. Thank you. 
so it's little sections you pull out tiny strands or clumps of the hair we'll see if you can kind of see it well probably at the root is the best way to see it at the root see that's the amount of hair you wrap around the needle and poke it in so it's a lot it's a lot of little strands together yeah she was just a basic brunette short very short hair first you have to take out all the old hair which can be tedious as well to get gluey. That would be under the customization and the um, buy it now. The reason I hesitated is because I do want to make some for Petite Palooza, but I can spare one. I can spare one more. And I could go back and buy it. I, I think they have some more of these. I could go and buy more. So yes, the answer is yes. Okay, let's get her a little trim on her sleeves. Welcome to everyone who is just tuning in. But before you do that, the issue is that it'll only fit certain doll heads. So Make sure the head you want will work with the helmet before you buy the accessory. It will only fit the smaller, oops, the smaller scale doll heads like this one, and this one, and this one, and I had another little blonde on there, but I guess I moved her out. because otherwise it doesn't come down far enough on the head. Everybody's so quiet. Yeah, it does. Kind of reminds me of some kind of spooky Halloween like in a Tim Burton film or something. Animated Halloween movie or something. I love it. I want to get rid of that. So just tilt it forward a little bit to give her a face covering. All right, so here she is so far. Let me get 
is turned off. Yay! All right, let's get some planets out. Oh no, I don't want them to all fall everywhere. All right, so we gotta figure out what color we want. I would say Hey Kurt, hey Kurt, I, I messaged you over on Instagram. Um and I'm, last time I looked you hadn't seen it, but um I just wanted to make sure if you're still wanting to do the state sale extravaganza. You have a show scheduled on there, but it's not under the title state select extravaganza or with the graphics so i wasn't sure and also is kurt still doing it so you can tell me here or you can text me or message me all right let's see so the thing about these we don't want to i don't know we don't want to muck up the design with weird colors so what do you think about these and the colors? You're good for Friday. Okay. So just change your graphic and title it as state sale extravaganza. But what about Chris? What about Chris? I, I called Chris Kurt, but you know what I mean? What about Chris? Is Chris doing it? Okay, let me know. And just, I, I would really love for him to do it just so he can like boost his followers so he's prepared for the Christmas season when he wants to come on here. Um, and it's only 30 minutes and you'll be there to help him. So ease his mind. But is he approved to sell? I feel like I asked you before, but I don't remember what the answer was. I think you said he joined, but I don't know if he's been onboarded and he's completely cleared to sell. So let me know. And if not, I can help get that expedited. You don't have to on these, but I'm just very hesitant about these because I just feel like it's too much glitter. And I'm kind of leaning more towards okay so yeah so I guess I'll write him too but you also write him because we need to figure out if he applied to be a seller and and, and all of that and if he got approved to sell live we can um, figure that out from an artistic standpoint, I feel like it's too much glitter. And I feel like since I use these for her helmet, using more of them, it just kind of takes away from the helmet. Um, I can, Monica, but I don't think that it's going to look good with this. I think it's going to look like too much glitter. And then it looks too dollar store when you use too many of the cheaper things. So my recommendation would be let me get this out. Let's look at some ideas for her. Because we want her to remain fabulous. So somebody suggested the Adam. Adam Adam isn't bad, I, you know, the Adam isn't bad, but it's not my absolute favorite. I would go for like maybe a martini glass. 
which we have in blue or pink. Blue is too much since her cuff is blue, so let's see what the pink will look like. So she's, she could have the martini, or we could do yellow and give it a pop of a different color. I don't know if you can see that. Do, do, do. So that's one idea. I don't have any aliens right now, unfortunately. Oh no, my light is falling. I had some at one time, but not anymore. Okay. Here's the yellow, which is kind of cool. Um, we have a green popsicle that's kind of alien and space-like. Let's see what else. a little candy dish. Someone said the lollipop, but oh, it's cute. Lollipop's cute. You like the yellow martini? Okay, so it's actually a wine glass for the yellow. I didn't have any martinis for the yellow. Um, I don't have a TV. What is behind the atom? It is a little Tomato, tomato, oops, and cotton candy. But yeah, I like the yellow wine glass too. So let's do that. Perfect. Or there's this little thing. It could be a type of space creature. But the wine glass keeps it classy. Oh, thank you, Crafted. All right, let's put this back. Or we have the glow in the dark cat. <laughs> All right, let's give her her wine. Okay, here she is. You can turn this on. You can see her face. Very cool. And I feel like this looks like space, like a space cocktail for sure. I wish I had a green one, but unfortunately they don't come in green from where I order them. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you love her. I'm very pleased with her as well. She is number two. All right, let's put her backstage with Mr. Cat. See if we can get these balls in line. You know, I'm not wanting to be cooperative. They're all being quite sassy. Okay, we're going to add this little girl in. Okay, 
here we go for our next round. Thank you guys all so much for your bids. We've even got Snoopy in here today. It's a wild bunch. Yep, my Melody. Oh, I love her, y'all. She is a Dolly Darling clone. Stacy, congratulations. Let me know which one you would like. The white haired cutie, you got it. Look at those green eyes. I've got quite a few of these, however, I'm gonna reroute a lot of them. So get one in its original form. All right, let's see the green flowers and daisy print. This is rare because it is a vintage piece of fabric and I didn't have much of it. So it's a great choice. And let's see if we can find the sleeve. Yay, we got lucky. And do you know what accessory you want or do you want me to pull them out? <gasps> Sharon, oh my God, thank you so much for buying that clown light switch. I knew somebody would love him. You are the best, girl. Okay. Oh, that's great. I'm so glad. Well, it comes with some hardware. Yeah, I painted that green mushroom. Okay. The cauliflower is cute. Molly! Hey, Molly girl. Welcome. I'm so happy to see you. Be sure to check out my estate sale extravaganza show because I have some of my dolls listed in case you want to pre-bid on any of them because it's going to be a 30 minute fast paced sale. I'm going to get my it changed over again. So I'm encouraging people to pre-bid on what they want so that they're not stressed out in the moment. This fabric smells like incense. I bought it from another platform and it was 60s fabric, so I guess it's very authentic. I have a little bit of an allergy to incense, so. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that? It's not a little bit of an allergy, it actually is. I'm pretty sensitive to it. How not to be stressed out during the estate sale extravaganza is to go browse everyone's sales ahead of time so that you already know what you want and pre-bid. And that way when it starts bidding, you're already ready to go. Thank you, Crafted. I'm super excited about them. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. All right, Stacy. What color trim do you want for her? I don't 
don't think I have an, no, I mean, I know I don't have an umbrella that would actually match her. I don't think I have an umbrella at all, honestly. Um, we've got a little purse. We've got, oh, I'm not on camera. A little purse. We've got a record. We've got the green mushroom, but I feel like that's too much green. Um, I mean, what really came to me was the cauliflower because it kind of reminds me of her with her hair. The pink kitty is kind of your vibe. I just got that. There's also a little pink mouse, which could be over here. Um, there's this little cat. She could have a dustpan. Oops. Well, I totally understand that. Don't anybody overspend. Lollipop. Someone said this one. I think the avocado just makes it too much green. Um, there's a cupcake. Do you like the dustpan? Okay, let me know. There's the onion, which is cute. No, don't be sorry. There's a toaster. So we have a pineapple purse, or my shoulder's really bugging me. Here's a yellow telephone and then we had another purse but now I can't find it. There's a pink fan. I feel you on that. Um, you want the fan? Okay. Good, because my eyes have lost that other purse. And there's also a tiny Singer sewing machine. All right, let's see. Now what do I do with the fan? I'm losing my mind. It's like, where's Waldo? There's the dustpan. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna just take a break if I'm looking, and then I'll look again after I do her trim. I have no idea where I put the fan now. Okay. Hmm. Perfect trim. Pink rickrack. I think we might have used this before on this trim, but it is pretty perfect. Let me know if you like that. And I don't know if I have enough to do the whole doll, but we will improvise with something.
Yes, I just have to find the right color. Good pink ribbon is hard to find. It's weird. But finding pink like in this color pink that's not too pale of a pink and that doesn't have ridges on it has been kind of impossible for me. Thank you so much, Dragonflies and Babies. Oh, I have more of it good. Great spot for her. Who's there? Who's there? It's Yuki. Yuki, what are you doing? He's gonna come in here and get into trouble. All right, Yuki, if you come in here, you have to behave. I'm so sorry about that princess pea. I, I worried at first that my husband might be allergic to cats. He told me he was, but it wasn't true. We haven't tested. Now he loves them, but I was like, what will I ever do? Just before I moved in. 
because I just would never be able to move in. I couldn't bring my cats. But it worked out, thankfully. And then I've heard of people developing an allergy, so I'm so sorry that your daughter developed one. Enough to lose the ears. They're starting to give me a bit of a migraine. Me too, Nicole. But thankfully, my husband was an allergic, but his daughter told me, you know, my dad's not really allergic to cats, don't you? I'm like, no. She's like, yeah, he's not. It was just one of his little tactics as a bachelor to avoid um, getting close to someone to keep me up at a distance. Yeah, I have to see what I can find. Oh, here's a green one. Perfect. Thank goodness, because I know I don't have the right pink. All right, so we'll kind of see what it would look like with a headband. She'll have some dangling down to the side, or if you want her to have a bow, you want the headband? Okay. Hashtag almost 50. All right. Well, when I put a picture of Yuki into Google photo search, it comes up with Turkish Angora. And that's what the groomer said that she thought he was too. Oh, well, that is really a special story. Oops. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, now we got to look for that fan again. 
Well, then we're twinning, Princess Peach. Well, I would think I had lost my mind if you guys hadn't also seen the fan as well. I'll have to go back and watch the replay of the bit video to see where I put it. Ah, I'm like, because it's pink, it might blend in with my desk, and it did. All right. Well, I found the fan, but let's make sure that it is what you want. It is not the same pink as the other pinks. So let's just make sure that you like it. Do you want her to hold it more like she's fanning herself or do you want it just in her outstretched arm? Okay. And this is a vintage little accessory. their dinner time so they're probably wanting their dinner. You want your dinner? Mm, I'll have to go feed them. <clears throat> okay, here she is. It's time for me to color my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna look like her which I wouldn't mind. It's actually pretty cool. You are welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know that he has such a little whiny meow. He's such a little baby, a little spoiled baby. Do you want food? He just knows how to whine. All right, let's get her signed and number. number three and then we'll run the next one and then i will run and feed the cats really quick you're laughing <laughs> do you want dinner all right well give me just a minute yuki do you want some treats It's too, too irresistible. All right, let's run the next one. Okay, can I, can I just run this last auction and then I'll be right there? Does that all the time. He's just, he knows how to milk it. He really knows how to milk it. All right. What are we gonna throw in? Let's throw in Yosemite Sam. My husband's favorite. He does have dry food out there, so he's he's gonna survive until we run this auction. Thank you guys so much for your bids. Oh, don't fall now. Frank and Beans show. Welcome. <laughs> Samantha, congratulations. Thank you so much. 
Okay, Samantha is going to sponsor this giveaway. And do you know that that means you're going to make Yuki have to wait even longer for food? Yuki! 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 You're so pitiful back there. Yeah, I can. All right, let me pin the giveaway. Number four. I'm going to use dictation. All right, guys, I've got five minutes to feed the cats. Remember, you get to, excuse me, you guys shout it out. You guys shout it out in the chat with a gift. We win. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, let's go. Let's go. had the garage sale today so I still have bins of stuff on the floor. All right, we've got three minutes and 20 seconds. We have 55 people in here and only 37 entries. Are you kidding me? Listen guys, you get to build your own doll with me. You could even choose one of my hand painted heads for free. Thanks to Samantha. Thank you, Samantha, so much for sponsoring this giveaway. Look at this cute poodle that I made and the jack-o'-lantern and the alien. Or you could choose the cute little Snoopy head or the Mego Dorothy. There's so many good ones to choose from. We're up to 44. That's much better. Maybe we could get to 50. Look at all the cones you get to choose from to make your body. Look at the mermaids, the cute little mermaids, the bats, all kinds of very cool designs to choose from. We're at 46. Come on, guys. We only need four more to get to 50. Four more entries and we have 60 of you guys in here. And it looks like Yuki's back. Who's there? <gasps> We're at 50 entries and Yuki's here. Yuki, you're here just in time for the giveaway. Here we go. We're drawing the winner. Who's it going to be? Let's get ready with our bell, Yuki. Is it gonna be Yuki? <gasps> what? It's Princess Peach. Yuki. 
Princess Peep won. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, congratulations. Yay. Which head are you going to choose? This one is such a pain. Hey, Jade Eye Queen. Hey, Miss Junkin. The curly haired girl. Okay, let's see. Do you mean this one, the little ceramic one? No. Okay. Let me see who else has curly hair. Dorothy. My own personal Dorothy from my childhood. She's so special. She's been through life with me. And I would have been devastated when I found her rubber band broken, except I had just bought a lot of Nico. Wizard of Oz dolls and I had a new Dorothy, so it will be okay. Oh, good. That makes me so happy. All right, let's see which cone you would like and let me know if you need me to choose a gray dress. I don't have gray. I have gray felt if you wanted me to cover a felt dress, but here are some that might look nice for her. Lar, thank you so much. I'm going to pull out my other Wizard of Oz dolls. The black with cats. Okay. You like that one? This, um, gosh, why can't I not think of the artist's name? Hewitt. What is her first name? Yuki. You're looking at my case. Hmm. I think this is nice, especially if you love cats. It's very magical. Very whimsical and magical. I love it. All right, let's go. Yay. Okay, so after we create Dorothy, we will do our show and tell. Yuki's looking in my curio, dreaming about getting in there. All right, I gotta look for the sleeve. There it is. We got to go in there once when it was empty. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah, I know Ponyo's in here too. Let's see how long Yuki behaves. He wants to go OUT, but we can't go out because I'm working. I took him out for about half an hour on my lunch break. But he wouldn't go outside then. I think it was because it was too hot. We only usually go out in the evenings. So he was like, this doesn't seem right. It's too hot out here, Mom. Aww. Are your kitties doing better, Stacy? Good. I'm so glad to hear that. a preference on what color trim you want I was drawn to the blue eyelet trim but let me know if you like that or if you want something different Oh, perfect. We are vibing. All right, I'm going to pull out the accessories while I work on the trim. I'm in a tight space here with all of this. I saw stuff around me. You guys, be sure to check out my Buy It Now. I've got lots of fun treasures and a lot of $3 items. I just want to find new homes for this stuff. mostly all from my own personal collection. She got my childhood Dorothy and she's going with the succulent cat print. Yay Stacy, thank you so much. I don't think I have a Toto. I have a pail. She could be carrying the water to throw in the witch. I have this that's more like a dachshund. I have some other dogs. I will look and see what I have. They're in my um, drawer. Here's like a golden retriever. Hi, Dead Sheik. Hey, while I have you here, Dead Sheik, um, I don't know if you're able to access the group chat for the estate sale extravaganza, but if you are, there is a graphic for you to use as your thumbnail image. Otherwise, I will just send it to you directly um, so that everything is uniform and everyone can find your show along with all the others. is great that I get to take care of business while I'm on my show. The people I'm trying to reach in DM. 
conveniently dropping by. Great. And this is going to be your very first show, right? Everybody be sure that you're following Dead Chic. She is brand new to selling on whatnot. Let me think on it. Once I get her trim on, I'll pull some options out. Do you want it to be relevant to Dorothy or... You want it to be something that you like. What are your thoughts on that? Oops. Like, is it Wizard of Oz relevant or just something that is special to you? I'm going through a migraine cycle right now. It's not fun. But my migraines are not full on headaches. It's like a weird pressure that I get in the base of my neck and I get dizzy. So if I'm a little slow or I say the wrong words, that's what's going on. My brain is just not firing properly today. So I'm in. Yeah, you understand, Sharon. Lollipop? Oh yeah, the lollipop. This could be a little munchkin. Who's right in here? Oh Well, it's time to restart the music. All right, I'm gonna put her here for a minute. And restart the music. All right, so someone suggested the lollipop. Oops, Dorothy. She's having trouble adjusting to her new body. You know, she was completely jointed, had very long legs her whole life, and now she's short and has to kind of float and hover. But she'll get used to it, she'll adapt. It's better than being just a lone head, Dorothy. You know, your body fell apart with age. What can you do? All right, so here's what it would look like with the lollipop. Here, there's not really that green, and I wouldn't go with that one. Here's this one. That looks good, too. You already have one with the lollipop. Okay, let's scratch that. How about we have... An apple from the apple, those wicked apple trees. Or what did I see a minute ago when I was thinking? Oh, excuse me. I saw something. What was it? Oh, I can't wait now. Here's a flower. So, you like the idea of the apple? I think that was a typo when it said pole. Here's a blue purse. Crisco. <laughs> a can of Crisco. 
I don't know what I was thinking of there. Oh, I think I was thinking of the little ladybug. But here is a little bug, flying bug that matches her color scheme. Or the ladybug, the little vintage cute little ladybug. Okay, um, I'll just need you to figure out what other one you would like and then you can purchase the additional one and the buy it now. This is, oh no, no, my thing is stuck on that. Stuck on that song. I don't have a basket, I have a pail. Thank you so much. Well, you accidentally got the customization, but really it's the same price, so it's totally fine. Um, so there's the pail, and then there's the apple. You can put it in her other hand. And we can give her either little light blue buttons or little pearl buttons. What do you think you would like? Which one do you like? Light blue or pearls? Tiny pearls. I'm gonna have it's funny when I don't want something to stick, it sticks really good. I gotta trim this so that the pail fits better. You are very welcome. Nikki says meow. Yeah. All right, where's my ears?
Hi, Valerie. Yes, I do, Valerie. Well, oh, thank you, Monica. Oh, she's got a little bit of there. Oops. Okay. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Dolly Dreamer, welcome. It's been a long time since I've seen you, girl. There she is. She is ready for apple picking, and she's just going to knock those trees upside the head with her bucket. Hey, Anita. All right, let's get her signed and numbered. Yay, my special little Dorothy. All right, time for the show and tell. Thanks to Lar. Let me get my key. And hopefully, I can get through here without pulling myself. It's one of these in progress Santas. Oh boy. Okay, so none of these are my originals from childhood, sadly. I will tell you what happened to those in a moment. But I had all the dolls. And I had the Emerald City, and I had the Witch's Castle. And the Witch's Castle had a drawbridge, a working drawbridge. It was so cool. So the play sets were made of like cardboard with vinyl overlay, and they would fold out. And they were really magical to me as a child. And Dorothy also came with, I don't know if it was Dorothy or the Witch. It might have been the Witch that I came with, but or it could have been Emerald City. I don't know what came with what, but there was a crystal ball and it was so magical and I do want to recollect these. I only have one, two, three, four dolls right now, but I want to collect the others. But anyway, it was a crystal ball and it had a disc in it. And on one side of the disc, it showed Auntie M and what was the uncle's name? And then on the other side, it showed Dorothy. So Auntie M and the uncle were like this. 
and then Dorothy was going to sew like this. And it was a plastic clear globe and the disc was a flat piece inside and it had little handles. So you would spin the disc and as it spins, it would make it look like Dorothy and like Dorothy was standing in between Auntie M and Uncle Henry. Thank you. It was really magical. So I had the witch, I had Dorothy, the Tin Man, I had the Cowardly Lion, I had the Professor, or what was he called? Was he called a Professor? Um, I had everything except Glenda. And I always wanted Glenda. And so here on Whatnot, I found a really good deal on four of the dolls and Glenda was part of the, the grouping. So for the first time, I get to have Glenda. And she's so magical. Look how pretty. Glenda the Good Witch. And her sparkly lace dress and her giant crown. And Mego dolls, to me, are just some of my favorites. They are all jointed and articulate, and even their little feet. The only drawback is that they are connected with the rubber band, so sometimes the rubber band disintegrates and falls apart, which is what happened to my childhood Dorothy. So anyway, this is Glinda. I love her dress and her little heart button. And look at her hair in really good shape. And then this is my new Dorothy. I will have to rebraid her hair, but it's kind of like when she got her makeover in the Emerald City, right? And then Dorothy did come with ruby slippers originally. Uh-oh, her arm is taped. I just realized that. So we'll use this arm because, oh, she doesn't have a handle. Well, she has her basket with Toto in it. And this is, I remember as a child chewing on Toto. I just liked the texture and the feel of chewing on this little Toto. But this is not my Toto. It's my Toto now, but not my Toto from childhood. So these are all so special to me. The basket is supposed to have a little handle. And then I got the witch. She doesn't have a hat. And I actually have the witch's head somewhere around here and I'm probably gonna have a cone doll made with this witch's head not this witch but a similar one you know what I mean um for the Halloween sale coming up in August but I just think the sculpts on the Migos are so great you know they're just some of the best dolls and she comes with her broom and then I got the scarecrow so I still need to find the Cowardly Lion and the Tin Man and the Professor. You chewed on your Barbie's feet. Yeah. I like to chew on the shoes. I can feel the, like the space, you know, in the shoe. Anyway, it's funny how we have these memories, but Scarecrow and his outfit is just so detailed. With his little patches and his fringe to look like the straw. Anyway, this is my little trio to restart my collection. And what happened to all of my other, my original Mego dolls, except for the Dorothy somehow, I still had Dorothy, was that my mom let my little sister take them with her to visit her dad and I begged my mom not to let her take it. She took the Emerald City with all my dolls inside. It was like a carrying case too. And I had a yellow brick road and never saw it again. So I feel guilty for being mad about it but the fact that I never saw it again. I never got over it. My toys mean so much to me. So anyway, thank you so much Lamar, for the show and tell. It was so much fun to get those out and really take a good look at them. All right, let's go on with our next doll. Oh, you're welcome. 
It looks like Yuki is joining us here. He's literally laying down there looking into the case that I don't think I latched properly. So if he gets in there, I'll be really bad. My dad is doing really well, thanks for asking. He had some kidney stones recently and had to be in the hospital and got an infection, but he is fine now. So he um, volunteers a lot at the BFW and he keeps himself busy. So, all right, let's go on with the next round. You're so mad about your ice cream can that your cousin dropped when she tried to eat it. Oh no. Here are the dolls that we have left. This little alien that I hand painted and we have the poodle and the jack-o'-lantern. And then we have all these other doll choices as well. We have the little Snoopy, Yosemite Sam, all kinds of cuties. So let's run it. And be sure to check out my buy it now section. I have a lot of different items at just $3. So you might find a fun treasure in there. And here we go. Little white quail, thank you so much for your bid. Chuck is doing good today. He slept in and now he's watching TV. I got him stocked up with sandwiches, so he's good to go. Molly, thank you so much for your bid. And like I said, we're going to try to get him back on Whatnot this Friday when Annabelle, his daughter, is in town. Congratulations, Molly. Thank you so much. She's going to do the show with him. Yay, which one would you like, Molly? Great. So it will be over on his channel, but I will probably co-host from downstairs here in my studio and his daughter will be upstairs with him. So you'll be able to catch us on either channel, I think. I know it, the Snoopy, Molly, oh my gosh. It's a little plushy Snoopy head. I don't know, I don't remember if you already have a poodle. ponytail gal on the lower right. You like this head. Is this the one? Yeah, Molly loves this one. Okay. I'll we'll have to comb her hair out when we get her on her comb. All right, what is Yuki up to? Yuki trying to guilt me because he wants to go to OUT. Usually we're at OUT at this time now since I opened up the patio for the summer. And let me know, Molly, if you need to see a fabric in full or something that you want is covered up. like several are kind of hiding. I'll rearrange them. I've got this cute gumball print, vintage gumballs. And then I've got the cats and then I've got tie-dye. And this little cute vintage print, but here's some tie dye, the cats, the mermaids, the gumballs, 
that one I just held up. Oh no, I don't know which one that was. The gumballs. Hi, Patina. This one. Okay. You got it. All right, let's get your accessories out. I do have this little jar of what could be considered gumballs. Or we could do it like this. Here you go. You like that? July. I absolutely do. I have this print right here. Well, it's not a print, it's glitter. And I've got an American flag pick, and I've got all kinds of food that's 4th of July themed. Where's my flag? like popsicles and hot dogs and ice cream sandwiches and i don't know why i can't find that flag right now but it's it's here somewhere um and then i've got this garland that i can put behind her to make it look like a firework going off in the background i could wire it put it up higher than her. it could be really fun if you don't like that one I do have some other uh, 4th of July glitters. It would just be an additional charge for me to cover the cone, but let me know if you, if you win. I am not sure what you're saying, Samantha, because I think it's a typo. how I keep losing things today. I literally just saw that flag. It doesn't matter because I have more in a drawer over there. So I can get if I wanted to find the gumball and the pink the lollipop. Yes you may. So just go into the buy it now section and you can purchase the the additional accessory. For ten dollars, it is just called additional accessory. Little stains. All right, I'm looking for the gun here. It's on the furthest from me is where the flag is. Ah, oh, it's hidden under tricks. There it is. This is the vintage cupcake pick flag. Thank you, Samantha. Mm -hmm. All right, I found it. Yeah, I, I got that with you in mind too. It says good luck on one side and on the other side it says lucky Reno. Yeah, there's so many fun ones. Something for everyone. Okay, let's see. 
And look at this little cute thing. It's like a little girl under a lamp. I guess like the whole piece is like a little vintage pretend lamp, doll lamp or something. Yep, I just got all of those at the antique mall this week. Okay, so Molly said the pink lollipop and the gumballs. Hi, Shadia. Hello again. Oh no, I just dumped all those glitter balls everywhere. I'm going to add in the blonde hotel girl for the next round. I was looking for something, but then I spotted her. She's my last blonde ponytail girl. And now I missed you too. Okay, let's put this away. Oh, and look at this. is like a little kind of one of those. Um, oh, thank you so much for buying the cat book. Like a little doll of like a priest. He looks like the kind of priest that would, I don't know, be evil. Okay. Like exercising an Annabelle doll or something. All right. <laughs> yeah, from The Exorcist. All right, Molly. What color trim do you want, Molly? Oh, sweet boy. Sweet boy, I can't go out today now. You missed your opportunity when it was earlier. I have to do my work now. He's really looking to see what he can get into. Okay. What color trim do you want, Molly? I've got, I've got lots of pink. Here's some pale pink. With little pom-poms. Or I've got this brighter pink with a little white. Pilot. The oh yes, was that for the pale pink? Yes, okay, perfect. Oh, that doesn't, that's not safe. I'll have to put the lid on that, okay. Where's my Okay, I screwed that up. Let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. That'll go on my bloopers reel. Boop -a doop Kim, welcome. Thank you for sharing my live stream. Sharon. She's at the salon, that's right. Okay. Yuki, you cannot come up here. You want to come over here? 
If you come over here, I'm going to hold you up so everyone can see you. Come here. Come here. Are you going to be a good boy? Come here. You want to say hello to everyone? Say hi. Hi. He's just looking at everything down there that he wants. But you can't have it. No, you can't have it. Okay. There's just too much, too much good stuff in here for you to get into, right? We have to take a cat break. Hey, Yuki. Take a Yuki break. I'm surprised you're letting me hold you this long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're doing so good. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was scary. Okay. Yeah, mine aren't really the kind that like to be picked up and carried around. My Kabuki, who passed away, he was the hugger and the snuggler. I mean, they'll lay with me, but they don't like to be picked up and carried around. He's on a mission to wreak havoc right now. It's usually night, like bedtime, that he's in a loving mood. You want a pipe cleaner, Yuki? You want a pipe cleaner? You're not on camera. Oh! <laughs> you got it. Okay. What did you do with it? You dropped it. Where did it go? Where is it? Bye, little white quail. Thanks so much for all your support today. Have a wonderful holly, holly, holiday weekend. I was going to say a Hollywood weekend. Oh my goodness. This migraine thing makes my brain loopy. Okay, you should not be up here. Okay. No. no, no. Oh, well, thank you, Princess Peepa. I hope your phone recovers quickly. Okay. 
Yes, we will. He's surprisingly being good right now. these that are gumball like that I think I got from Crafted. Some more buttons, but... Hello Revolve Vintage. Remember everyone check out my buy it now section. I've got some fun treasures in there. Most things are just three dollars. You might find something special. Follow that bug. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. This is my Build a Doll workshop where you get to choose your own doll head, your cone material, and your accessory. And then I build your doll for you here live on the show. And these are some of the heads that I have to choose from. This one is hand painted by me, little alien. We've got vintage doll heads, little poodle that I did, a jack-o'-lantern. We've got Pez heads, all kinds of fun dolls. <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you so much. Be sure to give me a follow if you're not already. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Kitchy Cat. All right, so we are working on her accessories right now. Molly wanted to do this little jar of gumballs. Or is it like a gumball machine, maybe? It's heavy, so she's going to have to hold it like this. And be sure to check out my Buy It Now section. I have a lot of fun items, a lot of stuff in my own personal collection for just $3. You might find a treasure there. We are almost finished with this one. All right. All right, she is all finished, Molly. Thank you so much. She does have a sweet tooth just like me. Yay, thank you so much, Molly. Going to sign her and number her. And then we'll move on to the next round. Number five. Thank you. I love her too. I love that you got the gumball fabric. All right, we are going to run our next doll. And I added in the blonde long ponytail girl for our replacement here. And then let's show off the cones for anyone who just tuned in. These are the cones you get to choose from. And if you see something that is under another cone, I can lift it up. Just let me know what you want to see. We've got glitters. We've got fabrics. We've got vintage fabrics. We've got fourth, the 4th of July glitter. And then you get 
all these accessories to choose from as well. So let's run the next one and here we go. Kaba, Sharon, thank you guys both so much for your bids. I think it's Karen, right? Karen and Sharon. Oh, I'm so glad you love her, Molly. Thank you so much. Sharon, congratulations. Let me know which head you would like. Thank you so much. I know, I love him. And that little frog just keeps staring at him. I've turned his head so many times and he just won't stop. This girl, she's... A long blonde ponytail, yep. Sure can. I can't believe how good this white cat is being in my studio right now. He's just lying down on top of the bin, hanging out, and that's what I love. You want to do the 4th of July, you got it. Are you okay with this one? All right. And did you want the flag pick or did you want to see the tray and look for some kind of 4th of July food or something? And I'll throw in the firework accent too. about what I have 4th of July related that is vintage other than the flag. So we have the flag which is vintage and then we have the 7-Up cup. little ladybug so the icy is not vintage though monica it is modern got the record Bees flying around. Got a little bee. And a beer mug. We'll do the flag. You got it. Okay. So what are you more in the mood for, blue or red, for your trim? I think the red looks really good with the white. Okay, so we've got this one. And... 
Let me see what other reds I have. This one. Or I have this red tinsel. Oh, the first one, I think. And a quick shout out to anyone watching over on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, you can click on the video description and join me here on Whatnot by clicking the link. If you want to get in on the social aspect of the show, there is 50 people here chatting and having a good time over on Whatnot. Or if you want to get in on the auctions, you can do that as well here directly on Whatnot. But regardless, thank you so much for tuning in. And unfortunately, I can't see your chat. So the best way to reach me is pop over onto what part. You can't come up here, Yuki. Thank you, Monica. Hey Kurt, welcome back.
Hey, Emerald City, welcome. Welcome, Star Rosie. Welcome, Laura Jean. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today we'll go out tomorrow, okay? We'll go out tomorrow night. Welcome Cherish and B McDowell. Welcome Von Steve. so much for tuning in. No, 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 no.
Hey, don't tear. No, don't chew her up. Stall's been through enough. I do have some good cats. They don't get into trouble, but Yuki's not one of them. Are you being good? Are you being so good? All right, I think she's ready. Of course, you can adjust your firework any way you want, and the same with her hair. There she is. Yay, thank you so much, you guys. Hey, Sarah, are you going to wear your new 4th of July dress, Sarah, this weekend? Yay! You are very welcome, Sharon. Thank you so much. You made little firework hats. That's so cool. I cannot wait to see pictures of you in it. Okay, and I mean that for the hats and the dress.
Number six. Okay, then. Don't look at me so lovingly, then. All right. She's going backstage to wait for... I'm taking this girl out because she is too problematic. And we are going to add in this. No. I love this one. This little Dolly Darling clone. And this little dark haired girl. And we're going to add in Bob Ross. Because we have a lot of empty spaces in there. All right. Are we ready for the next round? Here we go. Yay, Karen, thank you so much. Yay, do I have it right, Karen? Do I have your name right? Thank you so much. Congratulations. Let me know which one you would like. Yes, okay, good. Yes. Let me get these open. These are the weird little things that come in there. It's like a weird cat with a base uh, football helmet. It's like not that great. All right, so let's put her in. Moment. On maybe Turn the slide off. So here she is in the helmet. And then this one. This one, I have to do a little build up for her to sit properly on a cone. So I'm just going to kind of hold her where she would fall. So you can see it. You like the big one? Okay, great. Let me pull. No, you can't have that. No, 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 no. You get the cones out so you can choose your cone. And let me know if you need me to pull any out so that you can see. The design better. Hey, hey, hey! 
No, no. Get down. You're going to have to go out. Just chewing on this light switch. The cats. Okay, you got it. Accessories for you. Get my shadow face better. Okay. Um, Molly, are you still here? I got part of your message that popped up on pop up. And I want to see if you're still in here so that I can answer you. Okay, yes. I think what you were asking is if you're allowed to build, if you're allowed allowed to bid on more than one doll per show. Is that what you were saying? Because it doesn't show me the whole thing on preview. And the answer would be yes. Yes. You definitely are. You're always so thoughtful. Thank you for asking. A cat accessory. All right. Let me pull the cats. And we'll put them out here. Let's see. Let me get it higher up. This is high as I can get it right now, but I'll hold it up later. Okay, we have this one. This one. I know someone asked for the alien last week, but they might not be here, or it might not be in budget this week, or it might not be what they had in mind. There is the mouse. I'm mentioning the mouse. It is the mouse. <coughs> I'm looking to see the other cats. I don't know if the glow in the dark cat. The tail one. The one with the, the brushable tail. I totally understand, Nicole. Okay, you got it. Just go ahead and grab that extra accessory in the buy it now section. And then think about what color you want for your trim. I'm gonna work on getting her properly built up on the pen. Uh oh, don't fall, don't fall. All right. Oh, yeah, I do have a little bit of that left. Let me pull that. I have just a bit of it. I'm left to make one more doll, or maybe two dolls. But I, th I don't remember if she got this trim last time. She might not want it again. I can't remember what trim she had on that doll. Thank you so much, Karen. This going. I like that trim. I think great. Welcome, Huzzy and Quinn. Thank you for tuning in. Let's 
So when the holes in the head are too big, they will slide too far down on the cone and then your doll will have a neck. They'll be chonky like that, which is not my preferred look. So that's why I'm creating this little build up here so that we can fit her properly on the cone. do that with the Pez heads as well so that they fit securely on the cones. All right, let's see where is the sun? Welcome, Melodies. <laughs> We've got three more dolls left to make tonight. And that should put us right in at my goal time, my ending time of 9 p.m. Pacific. And I'm really liking my new Saturday schedule, having my lunch break in between my shows. And remember guys, I won't be doing this next Saturday, but I will be here for the estate sale extravaganza. And it's gonna be so much fun, you guys. It's gonna be, I think, 102 sellers and 17 hours a day of vintage and the vintage decor category, 30 minute shows. So it's super fast paced and super fun. And you can just go from show to show to show. Everyone is going to be rating the next show. And everyone's going to have giveaways. So it's going to be a huge party. And it's all going to start here on my channel at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific next Friday. And I'm going to be doing a doll giveaway. A doll that I will be making sometime next week and then I'll preview it here on whatnot and also on Instagram so stay tuned. Uh oh he's getting into some kind of trouble. What are you getting in there? What do you have? What do you have? No you can't have that. Mommy's selling this. Okay, this is going to be in the estate sale extravaganza, too. I just got it at the um, antique mall with all my new accessories, but Yuki spotted it, and he cannot have it. We do not want teeth marks in it, Yuki, or claw marks. Aunt B, welcome. No, you can't have this trim either. <sighs> He's gonna get kicked out shortly. Oh, he's he's got baskets and baskets of toys. No, you can't have that. No, he gets really aggressive. It'll hurt me and then I'll scream. You don't want to make mommy scream. <laughs> I know. It's a scary paw. Okay. He's a bully.
Hey, Kayvan. Yes, they are Molly for sure. All right, I got one little spot. I know, I love this trim. I got it at Joann's. I'm going to have to make a trip to Joann's soon and restock some stuff and see if they've gotten any more wings. Positive vibes resell, welcome. All right, we're on to the sleeves. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, I need this, please. Oh no. He got it off the of school. No! You're about to get banned from the studio, you can. Oh, I gotta close my door. My husband's on his A game again. It's distracting. Oh yeah, Yuki is a real rascal. All right, Yuki, it's time for you to go out now. You gotta make a safe path to get out of here. Come on, be nice to me. Don't hurt me, okay? He makes himself so heavy that I can't pick him up. Go, out, 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 out. Okay, now I can relax. Welcome back, Ziz. Welcome, Medic Jane and Katie Fizz. What fun names. All right, we got one more arm trim to do. And then we'll get some buttons. Do you want the same color buttons as the trim or do you want pink? Okay, great. That was what I was gonna go for, and then I'm like, well, I better ask you because whoever got that empty spool lot earlier today, I don't know if that is. Um, maybe you don't like it. So there's pink that I got from Crafted. Yes, thank you, Crafted. Jane Marie, welcome. Remember everyone, I do have a lot of fun stuff in the buy it now section. 
Not a lot of items for just three dollars. So be sure to check it out. You might find some treasures in there. All right, it's that time. MJ Froggy twenty five from. Pickin' Pigeon, welcome. And then we've got this one. <laughs> well, it is one of my hobbies coming out. A ready doll here. His little ears are tricky. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why I don't have an apron. Welcome, Creative Curiosities, Funny Girl Vintage, and Nato 18. I don't want to get sick of it all over my fingers. Okay. I've super glued myself together. This is not good. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay. That was traumatic. All right, I lived, I'm okay, I survived. And our doll is complete. <laughs> Here we go. It's not her tail to lay the way I want it to lay. And my fan dies, so I can't turn my fan on. I gotta start having my steamer in here so that I can steam the doll here when I need to. There we go. It's good enough for now. Here we go. I love her. Yay. Thank you so much, Karen. I'm so glad you love her. I love all your choices and I love her too. And I just got this little kitty. So I'm so glad that you loved it. Loved it. And thank you so much, Katie. Doll number seven. Here we go. <clears throat> Very cute. All right, let's see what we got here. What do we want to add in the 
nice little brunette. For the next round and if you're just tuning in you get to choose your doll head your cone body material and your accessory and then i build it for you here live here we go and these here are hand painted ones we've got the vintage ones and the pez heads we've got a little plushy snoopy head Molly, thank you so much, and thank you to whoever else threw in a bit as well. I keep missing who that other bidder is, but thank you. Congratulations, Molly. Thank you so much. Let me know which one you would like. Hey Irma, thank you Molly. Hey Teddy C. Hey Kaylin, Vesta, thank you guys for tuning in. The curly hair gal on the top left, you got it. All right, let's see which cone you would like. Welcome Jojo, yes. Welcome back in Paula. Let me know if you need to see any of the prints that are covered by other cones. The polka dots, you got it. Are you wanting the glitter polka dots or the fabric polka dots? This one is the fabric one, and then we have this one as the glitter one. Got it. Okay. Yes, we will tag you and make sure that you're in here before I run it, okay? Someone remind me. All right, let me make sure you are very welcome. Let me make sure that I have the sleeve. It's been a long time since I remember covering that cone. And sometimes I end up missing sleeves. Welcome, I'm sure. Different sleeves. I'm going to see if I can find it. Because I don't want to use sleeves that we need for something else either. So. Let me check my drawer, and then if not, I will see if I can find it easily in the fabric supply.
I could have gotten lucky, but no. And I said I didn't have any umbrellas. Stacy's still in here. <laughs> well, apparently I do. I forgot that I bought those. But I didn't have any in the current tray. And here is a white telephone and a little teapot. I'm finding everything. A white telephone. Everything but what I need. Welcome back, Lorraine. Hello, Moon Sky, AK Darling, 21 Ravens, BC3 Pogo Go and Gadget, Kelly Robin, Omega Days. Welcome, welcome everyone. Okay. Okay, darling. All right, let's bring out our accessory tray. some bananas. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that'll make for some good content later. <laughs> it's okay. It's because I have this migraine. I'm just not on top of my game and this little thing broke. I'll have to repair that. Sorry about the drama, Molly. It's okay. It's okay. We can laugh about it later when we watch it on my reels in slow motion.
I gotta get a better pedestal for this thing, you know. It's just, I probably should bring the whole cabinet over like I do when I do the fashion show so that it's completely stable. This isn't really a good plan. What I do here? Oh, my whole tray flipped and everything fell on the floor. Candy hair getting brave. That's good. That's right. It's all about the content. Sometimes you plan it and sometimes it just happens. Yep, instant replay. All right. Well, you can look at what's in there now, Molly, and I'm going to be down here in the floor gathering stuff up. And there's probably stuff that went under the table that I'll have to find later. I'm going to get up as much as I can because I don't want stuff to be stepped on. All these little ceramic things didn't break. It's a miracle. Oh, you know what did break? That's so funny. There was a ship in a bottle. And it looks like the bottle busted open. And the ship is out of the bottle. <laughs> it was already, the bottle was already kind of damaged. It was kind of cracked. All right, I think we're back in business. Janice. All right. That's all I can find for now. Okay, let's get going on your doll, Molly. Oh my, she has a tiny little Oh, and I'm not gonna have to wire this. Well, anything could go with polka dots. But once I get her put together, I'll pull some stuff.
we can look at the colors of the polka dots and think about stuff that would match with it. She could have a little, it's not the right yellow, forget that. Um, this little raccoon with wings matches the polka dots. And this little guy, little magical guy, looks cute with it. Could have a, um, a casserole. No, it's not the right color. Bottle of water. A popsicle. Oh, that green color. Someone said the Seven Up cup, but I'm not seeing it right now. Oh, here it is. Seven Up cup. Isn't exactly the right color green, but it could be okay. Clowns go with polka dots. Oh, Go Go and Gadget, thank you for purchasing the Bugs Bunny book. Everyone be sure to check out my Buy It Now stuff. I've got stuff in there for $3. Avocado. Thank you for purchasing the Lively Rabbit. Speaking of, here's a Lively Rabbit right here. Cauliflower. Yellow phone. Oh my god, you purchased the Biker Gorilla. Yes, thank you so much. Um, okay, the 7 Up Cup and the tele, tele, Telephone. Which telephone? I think I held one up, the yellow one. So we have the yellow one, but we also have the white one. Let me know which one you like. And I'm going to work on her arms. Ooh, you're purchasing so much good stuff from my garage sale. Thank you, GoGo and Gadget. You're the best. Look at all that good stuff she's finding. Good choice, Molly. Good choice on the white. What color trim do we let's think? I don't think I might have Well, I have enough to do the bottom and the collar in this, and then I could do the sleeves in a different trim and that same color family. You like that one or not? All right, so it was the white telephone and I cannot remember what the other item was. What was the other item? The telephone and what else? Seven up, thank you, Paul. Okay. Welcome back, Bully House. Welcome, Pad. I could go for some setup right now, <laughs> but I've got Gatorade. Popeye's postcards. Thank you so much for the raid. You're the best. Oh my goodness. As I'm dribbling, <laughs> I'm a mess in here. I'm not fit for guests. But thank you so much. <laughs> We're making dolls here. You get to choose your doll head. You get to choose your fabric. And then I build it all for you. I've got really cute little hand painted heads there in the top. We are on our seventh doll. Seven out of ten tonight. 
And at the end, we do a little fashion show so you get to see all 10 dolls that I made. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, she does. We'll see if I get to all 10 dolls with my loopy migraine. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, I've got lots of fun stuff in my buy it now. Lots of stuff that is only three dollars. You might find a treasure. Thank you so much, Moon Sky Vanish, for the shout out. We're still waiting for the masters to sell. It should happen within the next 90 days for the deal to finalize. And then once that does, then we can actually look for our house. So hopefully we'll be in our new place by Christmas. But uh, I hope sooner. But that's why I am downsizing and Rehoming a lot of stuff so I don't have as much stuff to pack and move. Yeah, we're looking in the Palm Desert area. Not necessarily Palm Springs, but more like La Quinta. It's more quiet there, more low key. And the homes are newer. We're not really into the old MCM style. And the backyards are more basic and we want something more more grand and more lush and tropical all right let's find something for the sleeves oh what is this what could work if i don't find anything else Option. Yeah, I'm motivated because of the move, but if it wasn't for that, it would be harder. Catherine, D. Pritchett, and a few dogs. Welcome. Yeah. Hmm. 
I'm not getting rid of anything that is too sentimental, but I'm getting rid of some sentimental things, but things that I'm okay with passing on. We're not get we're getting a larger home, but I just don't want it to be cluttered. I only have the stuff we really need and want. So that I can keep up with it easier. Welcome Donatella. Alright, so I just was it in here? Was it in here? Oh, I'm so glad, Donatella. Thank you, Tracy. Denine, welcome. Denine. I'm so happy to hear that. No, no more dropping stuff. Thank you guys all so much for all your support today and being here and hanging out for all of my mess ups today. I was trying to sit down. I just found this pair of my grandma's tweezers. And that's what I should be using. Grandmama's initials on it. All right. Ta da! Let's see how this works. Thank you, Grandmama. You're the best. I found these yesterday. I was going through the craft supplies I had in the dining room cabinet and I found these and I'm like, oh my gosh, because I've been needing some crafting tweezers so badly. I lost the ones I had and I will not lose these because they're grandmamas. All right, perfect. Kitties are doing great.
Welcome to Cannot Kanaya Fluent Vintage, Kristen Lee, Adrian or Adrian 267, and Cassandra 827. Welcome, everyone. And here she is. I hope you love her. Thank you guys. Welcome. She 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 been A Z. Yay, thank you so much, Molly. Number eight. Thank you so much for being here, Molly. Thank you so much for all your support. You're the best. All right, let's put her in the green room so she can await the fashion show coming up soon. All right, let's run the next one. Let's see if I can make it through all 10 tonight. Gosh, last week I did so good, but today I am just struggling with this migraine. Here we go. Adrian and Ziz, thank you so much for your bids. And if anyone else dropped bids that I missed, thank you so much. Oh my God, I forgot to tag Dolly up. Somebody tagged Dolly up, but now it's too late. <gasps> it's your first purchase. Where's my bell? Congratulations. Is it Adrian? Is it Adrian or Adrian? Thank you so much. We'll tag Dolly up on the next doll. But it's because of this migraine. My brain just isn't sharp. And I forgot until it was too late. But thank you so much, Adrian. Thank you so much, Adrian. This is so exciting. Is this your first Amy's Rock and Pop Shop doll? I only ask because maybe you know me from another platform under a different name. The blonde. Okay, which one? The one on the top or the one on the bottom? Yay, this is so exciting. So much fun. Top or bottom? Under the green head. Oh, that one. I missed her. You got it. Totally missed her. She is brand new. Take off her little plastic. She's like a 2000-ish girl. All right. Before I get excited with her, let's go over the cones. Let me know if you need me to lift any of the cones up so you can see the ones underneath. Pocket-sized meatloaf, welcome. That is a cool name. Yellow and orange. The yellow glitter and the orange glitter, is that what you mean? sure if I want the solids or if it was the tie-dye that you saw. I'm not sure. The tie-dye. Oh, shit. 
to you in more detail. Let's go back the way. Okay. There we go. I'll let me know if you like that one. to bring out the accessories so you can see what you might like. And I pray that I have the sleeve for this. And if I don't... Um, oh good, thank goodness I do. Okay. Are you wanting it to be a 60s type doll? just something colorful. Oops. Okay, because I do have some embroidered flowers I just saw over here. Some would be cute to maybe place one. At the bottom. Depending on what color you want. Something like this on the bottom. And we have different colors. You can, if you like that, we can put any of these colors on there if you want. Oh, don't worry at all. You're fine. You're totally fine. <clears throat> it takes me time to make it, so there's plenty of time to choose. The pink would look great, especially when the sleeves are pink and purple. This was made from a tie-dyed shirt that... was from a Beatles cover band called 1964 The Tribute. And I cut it up. Welcome Anne, Athena, and Styler. Alright, let me know if you see anything in here that catches your eye. Any food that you like. Oh, here's the bottle that the ship goes in. Oh, that's great. I'm just missing the bottom of it now. Or you can get something simple like a little, a little bag. I think I have a record in here if you would like. A little mini record but I did drop everything earlier so I might not have the record I'm not seeing it I'm probably still too soon so now I'm not seeing it yeah I spoke too soon because now I'm not seeing it in the tray you guys look in the tray and see if you see it there
piece. I usually put the peace sign on as like a little, instead of buttons, I would put the peace sign on. So you can let me know if you like that as a button, as a, in place of a button. It's kind of a light peach color actually, but that wouldn't be your accessory, it would be your button. I apologize. I'm a little woozy. I have a migraine right now. Okay, let's see. The green toadstool is... Well, it was still here, but when my tray crashed, it may have floated away somewhere but I do have this trim that might be really nice I've got this flower I'll look down here for a quick look but because I'm not feeling well probably won't be able to stay down here very long. I'm just going to do a quick look and see if we get lucky. Because that toadstool will be so nice. It probably rolled under something. There's the avocado. Aha, I found it. Yay. Let me know if you like it. And it would look great with this trim. And I don't want to dunk this over again. So let me know if you like that and if not i'll bring the tray back out okay dog master welcome okay thank you after this doll i am going to call it a night guys because i am just not feeling well with this migraine i'm starting to break out in a sweat so I do have to not push myself and just call it a night after this. I'll do the doll um, fashion show. I know I'm so sorry guys. It's been kind of coming on all week. It's hormonal freaking menopause stuff. Sorry guys, but it is reality. And nobody talks about it. But I'm living it, so I always like to be real. Um, yeah, I need to probably drink some water, honestly. I need to lie down and take a Benadryl. That's usually what I have to do.
and the battery in my fan went out too. So I can't blast myself. We'll make it through. Mind over matter. Welcome in everyone. Do, do, do. Thank you so much. Sorry, I totally didn't even realize that I didn't have my camera down. Sorry about that. I just get to see all the pain in my face. <laughs> it's been a night. All right. Where are my choices? You became one. Do you want a bow or a headband? Welcome, Vintage Crystal. Oh, I've got this little thin one. So it's not so overpowering. If you wanted her to have one. Okay. If you like her just like she is, then that is awesome. She's so magical. I love all the colors. And if her 
arm starts to sag, just bend it back up because the mushroom was weighing it down. There we go. Perfect. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick fashion show. And then sadly, I've got to call it a night. But tune in next week for the estate sale extravaganza. And then I'll be back the following week with my regular shows for my doll workshop. It's at 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Bookmark all my shows. Check out my Buy It Now. Cue the music. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I greatly appreciate all your support. Sorry I couldn't finish my last doll, but I so appreciate you guys being here tonight and hanging out with me. And I look forward to seeing you next weekend for the Estate Sale Extravaganza. Tune in on Friday 
for the pre-show party and my dog giveaway at 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern to kick everything off and have a wonderful and very safe, happy 4th of July weekend. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.